Today we are breaking down gameplay from Nadia, who is arguably the number one female rebirth player out there. And this game right here is a 24 kill win in a 1.21 average KD lobby. Now over on the right side, you see her monitor cam. You can see everything that she sees on all of her different monitors. Now in terms of the gameplay today, three things that I wanna pay attention to. Movement, pace of play, and minimap. And I'll get into those further in a second. But before we do, if you are looking to get better at rebirth, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I do videos every single day, just trying to help people improve and drop higher kill games. Now, in terms of her movement, her movement is absolutely insane. And not only that, as I always talk about, she knows how to actually use it to her advantage. The whole goal of movement is to use it to take less damage, allowing us to win more gunfights. And we're going to start off with eight kills in control here, where she uses her movement very well. Now, she is a very aggressive player, which we are going to talk about. As she pushes through, kind of waits to get one more audio cue, anticipates left. But because she's anticipating with intent here, with intent of actually fighting, she's able to quickly make the adjustment there that guy's low plates able to win that gunfight now i want to talk about awareness and mini map awareness now you get one ping above right so this person is pinging right here from that team but notice that there is a ping down below and a ping on her level that basically means what you need to understand at this point is that there are four teams here there's the guy she just killed that team there's her there's the two fighting on the backside over this way so there are four teams here you have to be aware of that and put those things together so that you you basically just have to play fast and keep moving Here's one pushing to her right. Now, this is a little bit of an aggressive play. I'm surprised she challenged this and didn't just go ahead and wait to finish plating or cancel the plate and grab the MP40. She's going to break camera right there, and that's using the slide cancel, using movement to her advantage, is able to get kill number one, is able to immediately challenge. Now, neither of them have plates. That's not a problem. And right here, I'm not totally sure why she didn't go about getting this thirst. I don't know if she didn't think that she got the down right there. Maybe she checked the kill cam or the kill feed, which is basically hidden behind her camera, and saw that she didn't and was going to wait. Now she gets put in a tough spot, but watch this movement right here. Watch how she uses movement to her advantage. She's going to slide around, boom, and then jump strafe left. It's one of the best moves that you can learn is that slide to a jump strafe. And now she's just going to keep moving. Kind of in a bad spot. She's going to plate up. She's not full plates. Back down to two plates, but she's got an MP40 here, and she's going to grab another one. She loves using the MP40, so that's what she's most most comfortable with. Owen Gun, Armagera, Blixen, MP40. A lot of great Marco 5. A lot of great SMGs on the ground early game. Find what you're most comfortable with, and then focus on what is going on around you. Three kills. She's going to quick reload and then get back in here. Trying to figure out where people are. Notice she's just clearing challenges around this corner. Watch this play. We're going to rewind this. Yeah, when we talk about movement... I mean, just watch this. So she sees the one to her left. She's going to slide in. Why? She's not going to wait for them to push. She's going to keep the pressure on. Breaks camera number one. Hip fires drop shots. So that's a hip fire straight into a drop shot. Ducks below bullets. Takes no damage from enemy number one. Immediately slides right. Hip fires again. Jump peek or little jump shot there to avoid some bullets. And she's able to win that gunfight. That is happening super quick. And when you put that together, this is where I talk about she has insane movement. Watch it full speed. Break the camera. Drop shot slide jump and that's all allowing her to take less damage in that gunfight you know she's now down to low plates because there's another person pushing but right there she avoids taking damage because of that movement and that's stuff you learn through repetition now let's talk about this play right here sweaty players gonna come flying through this door just lack of anticipation now look this am this person anticipated pushing up the stairs and this is a tough corner to check this is a little bit of game gameplay strategy just a really smart play by her to just wait she's able to execute and able to get that kill one flying in above or at least one on roof right because she knows oh no false i made the mistake as well i did not think this guy was actually on the third floor right here i would have assumed roof as well but notice that she's in a position as soon as she sees him she's gonna go ahead and push right here now runs into that guy gets caught in a weird spot challenges this is another move that I want to talk about. I mean, just the movement is absolutely insane. And this is where we talk about good movement allows you to take less damage. This is one of the most popular moves right now. And if you can learn it, it's absolutely incredible. When do you use this? Okay, low plate situation, last chance reach out. She has to reach out. She'll never make it to the doorway to actually get away. So she's going to start off prone. Now, as soon as this guy comes around the corner, she's going to stand up and jump. Why? Because when a sweaty player turns the corner and sees you prone, the first move is to then pull down on the right side stick because they're trying to adjust for that drop shot for you being prone so what she's gonna do is now she jumps and this person is shooting at the ground that is the benefit of that move very difficult move to learn but if you can start to implement it it really really helps you again low health last chance re-challenge now she immediately notices enemy number two so she slides right 
once again jumps she slides left and then jumps right which allows her to avoid some bullets right there so that's kind of those advanced combination movements that you really want to start trying to implement if you can and start to learn and understand this is all just using a few buttons it's all a mix of your slide and jump button where you're holding that slide button to go prone you're hitting that jump button you're doing a quick slide cancel you jump straight right you know those are it's kind of oh my God, what taking our basic movements slide canceling jumping and strafing and putting those things all together eight kills right here shows geo she's in tampa florida right there so that's for all the other people that want to comment about all the lobbies she's get she gets she plays in the morning guys mornings are easier than evenings there's no doubt about it so she's gonna go in and keep pushing here so far we've talked about movement let's talk about pace of play as we've kind of seen very fast very aggressive player she's constantly moving constantly scanning to see where people are and right here you know when we talk about pace of play high risk high reward we're gonna see that throughout this gameplay she's gonna get put in some tough situations oh, simply because of how aggressive she is very different than my play style i'm a very smart strategic play a little bit more patient drop shot again to drop shot below the melee almost goes down there unfortunate but she stays alive you know, I'm a very smart and strategic. As you improve, she's just going to be flying around. She's going to be challenging people, low plate challenges. And we're going to see how it helps her and how it hurts her. She's able to grab the MP40. MP40's back, by the way. MP40 is 100% back. Nine kills, eight other teams. Very good lobby. A lot of people around. Challenges, gets the down, gets the thirst, puts herself in cover from the other enemy. She's going to use this redeploy balloon, by the way, to make a very aggressive play. One right in front. Notice this right here. This is an underrated move that a lot of you probably wouldn't do. Okay, so she sees the person right in front. No, watch her slide to the right for a little bit of cover, but right before she challenges. There's the slide to the right to cover so that she can get the MP40 out, challenges around the corner, gets the down, gets the thirst. Not quite, not quite. So she's going to end up going back. High risk, high reward right here. She's going to get the thirst to get the kill, put herself in a bad spot that now she has to finesse and use her movement. You know, the last thing that we want to talk about is using her minimap. You know, it, she uses her minimap very well after she gets kills. She uses her minimap to understand that there's a lot of people around her. Obviously, multiple teams fighting, probably four or five, six teams fighting around this area. So she's going to replay and then get back in here. Now, she makes one mistake right here. She's going to die throughout this game. It is what it is. If anybody really wants to be like, oh, Nadia died four times this game. She dropped 24 kills. That's a 6 KD in a 1.21 average KD lobby. So, And I guarantee you, she has the most kills in this game and probably some of the least amount of deaths. So we're going to go ahead. She's going to fly. The one thing she didn't do. The one thing she didn't do is the same thing that I always do. If you watch me on stream, you know this. She forgot to reload. That's why she goes down here. The only reason she goes down right there is because she forgot to reload. Now, we talk about high risk, high reward. Uh -oh, I might be dead here. She Ooh, runs yeah, tempered. So right here, her class is going to be Blixen class. She's going to run tempered. She then looks for an AR or something that she can pick up, but she likes tempered because she can get back in the fight. Now, the problem is exactly what we're going to see here. I'm glad this happens quick. She's going to go challenge up this way. She's going to push in, slide around the corner. And she's trying to wait for this person to self, but ends up just getting the kill. Gonna go ahead and push over towards living quarters, right? She knows that a lot of people are over at living quarters because she just died there. And of course, we oh, see fighting on this so minimap. Now, where does Tempered hurt you? Tempered hurts you right in this situation. Here's one shooting over to the right. Now she has to go challenge this. She has to go push in here and put herself out in the open because she doesn't have a long range option to actually kill this guy. So what ends up happening? There's one guy that's sitting on a rooftop behind. Super unfortunate, but that's where tempered can hurt you. So she's going to go ahead and see what she can find. Good game so far. 13 kills, still six other teams alive. She got off to a really good start and she's going to try to piece together a little bit here. She's going to end up in some tough positions based on not being able to find plates. She said she didn't mean to grab that class. I Maybe she meant to grab an AR class and then rotate back That's over right. to her Blixen. That's probably what she was doing. Grabbing an AR tempered class and then going to rotate back over to grab her Blixen. Grabs the Armagera. Hits really good shots right there. To anybody who wants to say she hits torso shots, congratulations. That's where most people hit. Just means she doesn't mix in high damage areas. Anyway, I digress. So she's going to go ahead and watch her play this. Watch her not play too over aggressive when peeking this ladder she wants this plate right over to her right but she sees what she sees that person checks again still kind of floating around there now gone now they throw snapshot so she knows at this point that person saw her has to rotate out no plates so she has of the full plate she has 75 health here but just needs one more plate to be full health 
She's got a little bit. She's not as at as much of a disadvantage here. Go ahead and see if you can position. A lot of people above, right? No, no plates right there. And she's kind of in a weird spot. She can't really challenge this. She's acting on. She's got a ton of information. She can't really act on this right now because of the lack of plates, right? She's at a disadvantage here, so she has to be careful. She either has to get a very clean kill. Or just play. That's basically her only option. Or find a plate. Going to challenge here. Gets the thirst here in a second. She hears one sniping. Where you can see him right up above. Oh, my camera's blocking. He's basically right behind my camera. Going to get the thirst, but cannot get that plate because of the sniper. So has to rotate down. Still can't fully challenge just yet. Challenges his person. Watch the movement. I mean, just this is where we talk about the movement. This is the difference with an, ag an aggressive player to take less damage. Gonna go ahead and challenge right here. The drop shot, right? Okay, so now the Isker skin is aiming down. Now she's gonna jump, jump again. That's what allows her to win that gunfight. That move is absolutely nasty if you can learn it. Now this person only has one plate, but can't grab it. Still down to no plates, plate. still has to play smart here. Can't be too over aggressive. Gonna go ahead and buy plates. Finally, she's able to get to the buy, buy plates. She's going to settle down here for a second. Play a little bit smarter. She's going to slow down, plate up, quick reload. And now we're back in the fight. Now we re-engage. Still knows there's people around here. So still just clearing. Gets the down. Misses the throwing knife. That's fine. One more above. There goes the radar jammer. So she loses that information. 17 with still 17-ish players still up. 14 other enemies. Challenge around this corner. Person ends up taking zip. You can hear the audio. So now she knows they're on the roof. Now she knows they're up top because it, or at least one's oh up top God. because of the zip. So she's going to go in and push her way up. Now this, this area right here, this stairwell is a very tough stairwell to push. Very tough stairwell to push because it's a lot of different angles that you can get shot from. That's just one thing to keep in mind. She's going to go ahead and push around. And now challenge her on the roof. Now, because she has the radar jammer blocking her minimap, she can't really use that to understand exactly where people are. The one mistake she's going to make right here, she's not going to check left. So notice that she pushes up. She sees the fighting straight ahead of her. She's not going to check to her left, which is where she ends up getting shot from. She's able to get the down and just not able to challenge that second guy right there because of the damage she took early. Now, there were people basically camping the free load out. So she's going to go ahead and land back. This is a very aggressive play right here but like i said she's a very high risk high reward player she's a very aggressive player so she's going to try to make a move here to be able to ultimately get the kill she can't so she's got to rotate down still has a little bit of plates now she's out of plates she's going to challenge to the right she's still got a challenge here there's still people here so she can't run away she's never going to make it and she's got to basically get to harbor so she's going to challenge this player good shots right there with the blixen and watch this. I kept this kill cam in for a reason. How this person does not die flying back in and where they come from, I have no idea. But they're flying in from somewhere and just absolutely dolphin dive straight down and is able to basically, I don't know, get that kill on the back. Super unfortunate. She got no audio right there. Now, let's talk about this situation. She's live pinging for her teammate. She's also, she wants to get loadout. You know, loadout's such a massive advantage in this game, but she can't get it. There's people all around. You can't full send this and expect to finesse a full team of three immediately grabbing loadout. So what is she going to end up doing? She's floating. She's got to be careful. So she notices two above, right? So one flying in, which you can't see. It's right behind my camera. And we've got the one over here to the left. So she, what she's going to do is she's basically going to fly in and then she wants to go kill the guy right up above. She has an LC-10, by the way, not meta, going to lose to a Blixen, Marco, MP40, Arbigero, going to lose to a lot of SMGs, especially in a sweaty lobby where she is down a plate. So she's got to be really smart right here. She's able to get the down. And she's asking for her teammate's help who has loadout. That person had the LC-10 as well. Notice she used a little yeah, bit of movement. Have, I just have a, I don't know. I'm she goes down to the precision. Good old war zone right here. Gets both of them to the precision. The teammate's going to go ahead and clutch up right here. Going to go ahead and get the res. 20 kills, by the way. So to any of you saying she's died a few times, absolutely she has. But you know what? She's still on a very good game right here. Five other teams still up. No plates. She's got to get the one plate right there. One plate right there. She's full plated. Still has no... Still has no loadout guns. Now she's going to come to her teammates. Hey, let's go ahead and push rooftop right here. You've got to understand when you are flying back in and you don't have a good loadout gun or don't have a, gan a gun in general, come to your teammates and say, hey, let's go push to this together. Let's be smart about how we challenge this. Trying to see what she can find. Doesn't see anything. There's the cluster strike. So she's going to go ahead and push down right here. 
Gets the car 98. Watch this snipe right here. She's going to snipe this guy in a second over on loadout and then go to push. But once again, comes to her teammate. Hey, we need to go push this so I can get loadout. She's going to need a lot of help right here. There it is. I, down I'm one. Going I'm going, I'm going, I'm going She's there. going right there. And she comes oh to her God, teammate. Hey, I need help. I need help. I need you with me. She's got an LC10. So not in a good spot. She also didn't reload. It happens to the best of us. Yep. Challenge around the corner. Drop shot. Okay. That slide okay. to the drop shot's a really good oh, move, okay. move if you can learn it. She cr can't grab loadout. She's trying to get loadout. She's just finessing. She's going to keep moving. She finally grabs the gun. She grabs the cold MP5, which is not the gun that she wanted, but she's going to go ahead and make the most of it. It's a viable option right now, for sure. It's, it's right around that top five. It's right around that top five. So she's going to grab... She's going to grab the yes, syringe. Her teammate's going to grab the gas mask so that, you know, she can get back in a zone. And they're going to keep pushing here. But you really see the pace of play that she plays at, how aggressive, and how her movement allows her to play that aggressive. 22 kills, still three other teams still alive. Going to go ahead and just push, see what she can find. Here's them above. So she's going to go ahead and challenge around the corner. Watch this. So she catches them right... Oh, she, we missed them. So she's going to catch them right on that kind of third floor right here. Or that second floor. Right here. Right in front. You can see him kind of moving right there. Yeah, you can actually see it behind my... Or in front of my camera. So they're she's going to push all the way, way around. She's going to be like unpredictable. Spot, she's going to go ahead. Challenge her on this way. Watch how unpredictable she is. A lot of you would not make this play. Not think about it, right? Gets the down. Immediately challenges around this way. Immediately anticipates enemy number two. Who was a separate team, by the way. Right? Notice that more, that more, guy was trying to get her third. So separate team. She knows there's multiple teams around here. 24 kills. Still two Thank other God. teams. And now the hunt is on for the last few players. I'm going to go ahead and rewind. They end up clearing... Or uh, fast forward. They end up clearing a lot of different areas. She's going to play rooftop right here. But overall, teammate gets the last kill. 24 kills in a 1.21 average KD lobby. You see how she plays using her movement to play aggressive. I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today. And I will see you tomorrow.